Hi there, I'm Chris the Food Guy and today I'll be showing you how to make uh, Alton Brown's spinach and artichoke dip, which is an excellent dip, uh, one that I make all the time, um, especially for the big day, uh, which is today, the big game. Um, very easy to do, uh, very quick, uh, does not require any baking, which is really good when all you want to do is uh, drink beer, eat dip, and watch a football game. Uh, come in close and I'll show you how it's done. Our dip begins with one package each of frozen spinach along with one package of frozen artichoke hearts which have been cooked in the microwave for six minutes. Uh, to make chopping the artichoke hearts easier, you're going to want to thaw them on the counter and chop prior to microwaving. Uh, this will keep you from burning your hands. Trust me, I know. Uh, you will also need a third of a cup of Parmesan that's been freshly grated, like this. Next up is a quarter cup of sour cream and a quarter cup of mayonnaise along with a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of pepper flake. And in this case, I use dry jalapenos because I have a whole bunch of them. And the last item you'll need is one package of cream cheese, which has been softened in the microwave for one minute. Now be careful. This does make a mess all in your microwave. Um, if you find that it's making too much of a mess, uh, you can bump the power down to maybe say uh, half and you know double the time. Uh, whatever works for you. All you really want is for it to be softened and a little bit warm. Anyway, now that we have all of our ingredients, all that's left to do is place everything in the bowl and stir until combined. I have my spoon. Let's get going. First off, let's start with the cream cheese. The Parmesan. Sour cream and mayonnaise. Yum. And everything else. And of course, it will stick to the thing there. And combine. Uh, the key is really make sure this is all hot. Um, if you're like me and making a uh, food show and you wait too long and it cools down, Pop it back in the microwave. Nobody will ever know or care. Why? Because it's going to taste good. And that's it. All you're going to want to do now to keep it warm, just place it on those, uh, if you have one, one of those small slow cooker things. I do, but I didn't think ahead to, uh, to grab it. to enjoy it is some tortilla chips which break off in the bowl mmm excellent oh mmm I use store brand tortilla chips there. I think that's why they're breaking um, maybe that's a future video comparing store brand uh, chips to uh, national brand chips because those break pretty easily or if you're like me and nobody's looking, just lick the spoon. Mm. Or if it's just you, just use the spoon. No, don't do that. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Super Bowl spinach and artichoke dip. There you have it. Uh, awesome addition to uh, to your big game uh, that you'll be enjoying on Sunday. Uh, don't forget to like and share this video and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm Chris the Food Guy. Thank you for watching and see you next time. So the American football game is uh, coming up so I um, thought I'd try a bit of a uh, Chris the Food Guy's uh, dip that he made. Huh. The chip broke on him but it didn't broke on me. British Halls. Very spinachy. 
and artichokey.